Hello there, I'm Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a rather unplanned video. I was about to um, document in my traveller's notebook and um, I thought I would video it. I've got a few different ideas and I'm trying something a little bit new so I thought I would do it on video. Um, it's always nice to share ideas and I know I certainly like um, finding new ways of doing things by watching other people's videos and seeing what others are doing so um, I'm sharing here today as well. I want to um, document um, a family trip that we recently had. It was my birthday and I treated my whole family to going donutting. Not the edible kind but the going down on rubber rings kind. I've got some videos here which I will show you. You ready Aid? Mills, are you going to race against Daddy, Charlie and Uncle Aid? I trust Uncle Aid to be the winner. That's because you weigh so much. Aid's going to shit off the other end. Who do you think is going to win? Oh, I'm nearly left late. I think it's Louis in the lead. Is Louis, going take this Louis is in the lead, looking cool. Look at his face, there's no facial expression at all. Oh. You're okay. Is that good? Oh, oh eight's going fast. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Holly. <laughs> And that is basically donutting. It's so much fun. And what I really love about it is that anyone of all ages can enjoy it. Um, my dad lives in the States and when he comes over, we always do such lovely things. And my mum's just an hour away, but she lives really close to my sister. But you tend to find when you see each other regular, you don't do the fun day trips. And that's something that we're trying to do more with mum now, as I think she kind of misses out on that a little bit. So I thought my birthday was the perfect time to get everyone together in the family. And like I said, when you're going donutting, people of all ages enjoy it. And it was so fun seeing uh, my niece, who's nine, coming down, having a laugh, the teenagers, and also my mum, who's 62 now. Everyone had such a fun day. So I really wanted to doc that, document that in my traveller's notebook, and that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got my traveller's notebook, and I've got my photo ready. We did a group selfie. I might actually print off some more and pop them in a pocket. I think I'll do that. And I've also got bits and pieces. This is all left over from my March Coco Daisy kit. As it stands, Christine, the owner of March Coco Daisy, is having trouble with receiving some of the items for the kit. Under normal circumstances, the team, as in the um, design team, we would have all received our kits by quite a few more few days now and we haven't actually got our kits yet so I'm still using up my scraps from my March kit I'm really missing not having the new kit by now I would have been well and truly into it so I'm making the most of it there's always so much in these kits that I'm still creating so I've got some scraps out here and I'm going to get this day documented in my creative journal today I've got quite a few pieces of the 12 by 12 here and I wouldn't usually do this but I'm actually going to do a double page and I'm going to use this to cover both of my pages. So I'm just going to measure and then I can see where I need to cut. I can trim off afterwards. This is just roughly, I want that colour in there so I'm going to make sure that's definitely on the page. So the paper's cut to size. I have folded it in half already so that I've got the centre piece there. So that sits nicely and I'm just going to add my double sided sticky tape making sure that the crease there has tape on as well and I do actually really like the washi from the previous page I think that goes really well so I'm going to make sure that I can still see that as well I think the easiest way is going to be to fold it over and do one side at a time there we go I've got a nice double page now and the seam feels the crease feels really good so I'm happy with that and I can just trim the corners. The idea that I want to try out, I've got this left over. This was from the chipboard clouds. Um, they weren't overly sticky, so I'm removing them, but they're not going to stick anywhere. I did have to use glue and tape 
to hold the clouds and raindrops in place. So I'm quite happy to remove these. Actually, let's take all of that off. But I wanted to use the negative here as a stencil. Um, it was a rainy day, so I thought this in the background could possibly work quite well. So um, I've used chipboard before, the negative of chipboards before. So I thought I would give this a go as well. I'm going to pop that on here. Actually, it does stick quite nicely, which is quite nice. It holds it in place. And I'm going to grab an ink spray and see how this works. Let's give this a whirl. I'm going to use mustard seed, a distress stain. I do need to hold it down slightly as it's not quite sticking. And let's see how this works. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's so cool. And I'm going to do some more down here. That's actually worked out really well. I'm so happy with that. Just need to leave it to dry now. So it's still a little bit wet, so I'm just going to blot it and help the drying up a little bit. Reminds me of being at school. Whoops, I smudged that one. Reminds me of being at school with the blotting paper and ink pens. Actually, that was okay in the end. That's dried off quite nicely. Yes, I'm quite happy with that. I'm really pleased. That's so cool. Right, I've still got this left from my Coco Daisy kit and I figured I'm going to use this. I quite like the green actually, I don't know. I'm going to use both sides I think. But seeing as these are all my favourite humans in the world, I'm going to use that I think down there. So I've got some washi tape here. I think this was in the classified kit if I remember right. And I'm going to add this to my book. So let's do side like that and then I want to see both sides like that and then it can flip both ways yeah. and as it only says human and not humans I'm going to add the stickers here which I still haven't actually opened from the kit Coco Daisy stickers and I'm going to add a couple of S's to make that plural. And that will do nicely. I'm going to add the March card from the pocket kit as March is my birthday month. And that's when we all got together. Pop that there. And then add the photo. Actually, let's bring that down slightly. And then I've cut these leaves. These were all left over, very much scraps from this piece of paper here. And I've actually cut around, so this was the end. Um, and I can still use them. Actually, that would be quite nice like that. And just where, obviously, the piece is missing from the end of the paper, I'm just letting that run along the side of my um, patterned paper. Oh, sorry, of my page so it's not actually ruined. Got this one here as well. Where can this one go? Hmm, that one's not going to work quite so well. Actually, do you know what I can do? I could do that and fold it. I don't know if that will work or not. Uh, no, I'm going to cut it so down the crease and that will work like that. Okay, this one here. I might use that one. Not sure yet, but I'm happy with those. I do need some journaling space somewhere as well. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to do, I've got the paper still from the cameras, so I'm going to cut some cameras out. And I've got one of these little gel stickers here, and I'm going to stick that in the middle of the camera like that. I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to, I think my journaling is going to be here and I've also, I was going to include some donutting photos but actually I am. I'm going to pop them in here like that and I'm going to find something to stick my journaling on so with. This, I might actually use that. I'm debating on whether to cut it out whether to stick it on whole. I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit and then stick it on the pocket. 
I've stuck that down but I'm going to add a paper clip it's not actually used to keep it in place but it's almost like just using it as an embellishment and oh, I quite like that idea actually yes I will add some tape just so it holds it in place Oh, I need to make sure that I can still see the wording. There. Then it ties the two pages in together as well, which I like. I did want to use the tab top here and another down there. And I'm going to use the Evolicious stickers to put together. So enjoy the little things together at the bottom of the pocket. So it's coming along nicely. I do want a journal card to document in. I could journal up there, but actually I quite like that it's a little bit um, empty. So I'm going to trim this down. I love this bit a day to remember, but it's Valentine's on the back. This is from last month's kit. So what I'm going to do is trim it down and cover the back. I only needed to trim down a little bit. I've got this paper here left over from my planner kit. I love this side, so I'm going to stick it down on this side and that will be the reverse. To, oh, corner punch each corner. Well, actually no, I quite like the end there and I might add something. I might just add a hole to the top so that it's obvious that it needs to pull out. And I'm just going to take the string from the day in the life kit, or the pocket kit, and I've made myself a little journal. Tip. Journaling's done. And I do want to put donutting somewhere and I've just found some, actually I might use the same colours that matches them. So it's finished. I've added donutting and I've just added this little um, gel sticker as well. And there's us. And we turn the page and I've got the journal tag as well. I'm really pleased with this. That was really quick and easy. And I've used up a fair bit of my scraps as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this very spontaneous video. It's been really fun creating. And let me know, how do you use the scraps that you're left over with? If you have a kit or if you buy something online, any paper or anything like that, what do you do with your scraps? Do you tend to hoard them? Do you tend to use them? And what kind of things do you tend to use them on? I do think actually on the smaller scale, using them in a traveler's notebook is a really good idea because you don't need large pieces of anything. And it's a really good way of just having a few pieces in front of you and just thinking, oh, I can use it here and there. And it works really well. I'm really enjoying my traveler's notebook more and more and I'm using it more and more. And things like using up scraps seems to be the perfect way thank you very much please let me know if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos i will see you soon bye excuse me can you Girls, do you want us to wait for you? Do you want us to wait for you? No, I'm not going to Who's going to be the winner? Oh.